Stephen Cudeno, Kale Water Sports are here with the legendary Leonard Ellerby. Good to see you. Man, the beard looks better and better, bro. Every time every time Thank I see you. it, it looks Thank looking you. slick. Shout out, shout out to my guy Mauricio. Um, he always takes care of me. Man, you're uh, you're taking care of boxing with this card right here, and the whole card really, because the the rematch with Fulton and Figueroa, it's a great fight. Wow. Uh, Jesus Ramos coming back against a former champion again, which is another great fight. Um, Isak Pitbull Cruz, which I mean, who doesn't love seeing Isak uh, in a fight? I want to talk about that real quick. Isak had the rematch clause with Rayo Valenzuela. Obviously, Rayo won. Why didn't that come to fruition? Is is it maybe they're just on different paths now? Is 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 there maybe a setup for Ryle to, I don't know, get another title or maybe defend his 140 pound title? Why why didn't that rematch happen? Because it was a good fight the first time around. It's going to happen. Oh, okay. it's going to happen. They're, those guys will, but um, it's nothing wrong with these guys taking interim fights. You know, in between, um, both are very entertaining fighters. Um, but the plan is for them to. To get it on, man. Let's uh, talk about the main event: David versus David, Benavides versus Morales. Incredible fight. It almost seems a little like early, being that fight fans are used to kind of waiting for for big fights like this. But I mean, thank God we have it. Thank God it's here. It's a it's an incredible fight. Two undefeated guys. Both I feel like are very similar in in style as far as kind of seek and destroy. What do you expect to see stylistically uh, in the ring that night? I expect to see two young warriors going at it, two guys who are in their prime and that are ready to uh, settle the score. There's been a lot of back and forth between the both of those guys for quite some time. And what better time than the week before the Super Bowl do these guys get in the ring and prove who the best is? Um, and I think that both guys are are really, really excited about this opportunity to uh, get in there and show who's the best. When looking at the fight, obviously they both have, I, I believe, interim titles. With WB, David has a WBC interim, I believe. Uh, Morrell has the WBA, like regular or whatever they call it. Um, does that mean the winner of this fight goes um, automatically for the champion, whoever it might be, better be of or Bavol if they end up rematching or, I mean, I don't know what's the, politically wise, what does the, the winner of this fight look in the title picture at 75? Well, they're right there. <laughs> they're right there. Everyone knows that when it comes to the top guys in that weight class, you got two of the top guys that are getting ready to go at it on 1 February. Um, I think that neither fighter wants to look ahead you know, um, from the business side, the management, you know, they're making plans. But the fighters, they know that both of these guys have their hands full. Um, and it's a true 50-50 fight, in my opinion. A really true 50-50 fight. Right. No, it really is. It's We're, we're really going to see. It's, 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 it's one of those, like, that you can go back and forth with anybody and everyone's going to have an opinion about it. So it's, sure. uh, it's that's, I can't wait for that one. Man, uh, you know, a lot of rumors going on why Tank, you know, ended up not going uh, December 14th. It looks like that's officially not happening. I mean, it's we're only a, less than a month away now. Uh, just what could you tell us? Obviously, Eddie Hearn had his his opinion about it maybe being a money issue or something like that with Tank. He said what? He said that he believes he saw the, the Lamont Roach and like I guess purse or whatever it was and was just how would he know what the Lamont per Rose purse that's all BS you know, I'm not I'm not going to trash Eddie on this I'm trying to take a different kind of approach <laughs> with things um, <laughs> his opinion yeah yeah his, his, he wouldn't know the first thing about what's going on over here with the PBC so if he said something like that he's uninformed he, he basically said something that he, he thought, he, again, he, he was honest about not knowing, but he said, he's like, my guess is that maybe Tank didn't like what the, the purse was in December, and that's why the fight <laughs> no. never went. So well, I no, it has, uh, no, the bottom line is that we're getting those two, mm -hmm. we're getting those two uh, together and expecting an announcement. Like, are we looking in the, because it was Houston before, is it sticking over here? Because they're both like D.C. East Coast guys. Is, is the fight not better suited over there, or is it that, that, that not work out? Stay tuned for the <laughs> announcement. <laughs> Stay tuned for the announcement. It's a it's a very good fight. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing Tank make his return back to the ring. And uh, yeah, expect an announcement soon.
Can you clear up some rumors as far as what happened with Loma? It sounded like you guys were working on it and then maybe just Loma decided he didn't want it anymore. I don't know. Can you tell us what, what happened there? Well, he just he just decided to take the rest of the year off. Um, he's had a lot going on, um, especially with his country has been through. Um, so I, I have none but the utmost respect for for him, his egos, you know, they know what it is. Mm -hmm. They know it's the biggest fight that they could humanly possibly make. It's the biggest fight for uh, top rank um, that they can make. Mm -hmm. They know what it is. So if he chooses to ride off into the sunset, so be it. He's had a good career and I respect him. Um, he know what it is going up against Tank Davis, though. He he definitely knows what that looks like, um, and he's a he's a warrior at heart. He's a champion. He's a champion, and um, Tank's not gonna sit around and wait. And so if it if it pops off, it pops off. If it doesn't, the show goes on. Hopefully it does, because that that is a I feel like a great fight uh, with with those two kind of generational talents. I feel like sharing the ring would be it'd be fun to see. Oh, mo most definitely. Um, and it was a fight that I thought that was going to happen. But hey, show still got to go on. You got to move on. Move on to the next. Who's, the, who's up next? Who, who's going, who, who, else, who else is going to win the tank sweepstakes? Last one, man. Uh, the winner of this fight, I know you've been around, uh, you know, when Canelo fights. And, and you've said that, you know, Can Canelo's not afraid of David. And, and, you know, David's your guy. With a victory over this, either David, right? Is that... Maybe the clear-cut front runner for Acanelo. I mean, it is at 175 pounds, but I don't know. Is 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 the the winner of this fight making themselves the? I don't know, putting themselves at the front of the line for Acanelo. You think? Well, all that's that's up to Canelo. Um, he's he's not scared of nobody. The, the, you know, I, I really hate when fans and media people disrespect fighters and say that, oh, that that's that just sounds it's silly. Just. Just nonsense. He's earned the right to to uh, do whatever he wants to do. You know, he's in the next phase of his career, um, so he's doing what he wants to do. He's having a lot of fun outside the ring, and he has the approach to what I love is that boxing is his job, but that's not his life. You know what I mean? It's, uh, he's had a, a tremendous career. He's an all-time great. He's fought everybody from the last couple decades um, that he could humanly possibly fight. Um, so I have none but the utmost respect. So if the if the winner of this fight um, and if some it presents itself to Canelo, something he's interested in doing, he will do it. If not, his career is still going to be his career, and and he's had a phenomenal career. Hall of Famer today. Oh, yeah. thousand percent, mm -hmm. thousand percent. Leonard, always great catching up with you, sir. Good Thank seeing you. Man. Thank you.